allow me to inspire you today by something I found very, very interesting. Do you know that in Israel there are two seas, one sea, two sea, that are fed by one river and yet they contain two different properties? Like they are very different. They are like heaven and earth. You know, this sea I will tell you about, one is called the Sea of Galilee and the other one is called the Dead Sea. Let me start with the Sea of Galilee. The Sea of Galilee is a fresh water lake. It means that in it, there are things that grow in it. That sea is fed by River Jordan. River Jordan literally cuts across. It feeds it and then it gets out. That is what makes this sea very special because it's alive why because it has an inlet and an outlet now come down the stream of the same river jordan there's another sea called the dead sea i will put them here now the dead sea is that is like its name it's dead why nothing grows there even you as a human you can't be in the sea for more than 10 minutes why? It will suck the water out of you. What this sea does is only take and take and take and never gives. It is so salty that nothing can survive there. Do you know what makes it so salty? It's because River Jordan comes in and it has no outlet. It only has inlet, only swallows but never gives out. Why am I telling you about these two seas? is because there are Christians that are like these two seas. One is like a Christian who is like a sea of Galilee. They get, they consume knowledge, God inspires them and tell them something and they can't wait to look for the next person to just tell them what God has told them and to just explain to them the word of God and share the word of knowledge. Whenever they sit with somebody, even in the bus, they're like, hi, my name is Helen, I'm born again. Do you mind if I take one or two minutes and tell you about Jesus? You tell them who he is. They are out on social media telling you know about God. You don't have to be a prophet. You don't have to be a pastor to be a sea of Galilee. You just need to be inspired by God and then we have the other Christian who is a dead sea all they do is go to church they hear words from Helen they hear words from their reverend and they just swallow they swallow they swallow they have no outlet they just swallow all they do is just get bigger but they never help anyone and with time they become a dead sea they become so salty that nobody can even survive around them they have nothing to give my dear brothers and sisters, be a sea of Galilee. The more you give, the more you get. The more knowledge you give out, out there, the more knowledge that will come back to you. Because by you giving, you're itching to go and look for more knowledge so that you can give out. But when you just take and take and take, you become poisonous because you're not helpful to the body of Christ. So what is that new thing that you've learned and you're just staying with it? You're not sharing it with anybody. I encourage you today. Please be a sharer. Blessed is the hand that giveth than receiveth. God bless you.